happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, in you know, out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have the XH Data D368. This is an AM FM stereo shortwave portable radio with Bluetooth and MP3 player. It's definitely an upgrade over the D328. And I'll show them side by side in this video. So here's the radio. You can pick it up for around 20 bucks on sale. Uh, typically retails for 23 on Amazon. I'll have links below, especially quick links in the comments section. If you just want to check it out immediately and pick one up and support the channel. Awesome. You guys are the best. Here's the box. Pretty simple. Boom. Boom. Same thing as the front. Let's see what we get inside. The radio in a plastic bag. Always nice. We get a carry lanyard. Got to have one of those. We get a, let's see, USB to type C. All right, the upgraded. Nice. Good to see that. Let's charge our radio. And we got a little instruction sheet. Okay, so the box is empty. We'll toss that to the side. All right, so our radio, we'll take that out of there. I like the new color. It's got like a gunmetal gray to it. Yeah, definitely nice uh, matte finish here too. Bring this on down. Yeah, 368, looking good. All right, so instructions, we'll go over this real quick. Um, it's pretty simple. I think it's just like one sheet. <laughs> Functions, there you go. Um, but you can expect the tune. Just gonna go real quick here because it's a pretty basic radio. And if you need any of these functions and I miss them, well, here you are. Okay, a little bit of specifications there. Boom, runs an 18650, beautiful. And their contact information is right there. Awesome. Okay, the radio, it's going to focus. All right. So the 368, yeah, definitely uh, an improvement over the 328. Um, but do you need this radio? Well, if you like stereo on headphones, you're going to want this radio, definitely. Um, but we'll talk about it. It's got a couple little uh, nuances, but uh, you may or may not like them and it may decide the purchase uh, of this radio for yourself. So dimensions, we have five and a half inches in length. We have three inches in height. We have a depth of one and one quarter inches. Put that in perspective, bring this up. We'll do a size comparison. I have its brother, the 328. As you can see, it's bigger than the 328. Uh, I do like the dial in the 328 with the white and blue. It's easier to read. It's just me personally, but uh, there you are. We also have CC pocket in the house. Give you an idea. We also have CC Skywave, the shortwave radio, all digital. Um, expect to spend 100 bucks on something like that versus 20. <laughs> it's always nice to get a deal, right? And of course, we have a deck of cards. In case you don't have any of those radios. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves XH Data shortwave radios from China land. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, Chinese master. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and zoom this back down. Alrighty, so yeah, features. Let's go over the features of this radio. Let's see, left hand side. Like I said, it's got that simple matte gunmetal gray color, which I do like. On the front here, we have an LED display for the MP3 player. Um, it'll show pertinent information, track, um, what mode you're on. It has two modes, uh, one or all, which is nice. XH Data D368 um, charge tuning indicator. That's nice. So when your radio's in tune, a little red light will show up there. And when the radio's charging, it'll also be red. Underneath there is a green LED. And then, of course, when you're in FM stereo with the headphones, uh, that light up green. I think I might have a pair of headphones up here so we can kind of demo that. Buttons, we have four in the front. Uh, if you notice there's less buttons, the 328 had more buttons on it. Yeah, see that? Yeah, this has a couple less or one less. Um, so we have a mode button, pretty simple. It takes you from Bluetooth to MP3 player mode. And then we have our backtrack, forward track buttons. And then of course, fast forward, rewind. They're not great, but they do work. Uh, just remember when you're MP3 player, um, it will remember what track you were on, but it won't remember where you were on that track. So if you're listening to long podcast files on the MP3 player, it won't remember 
I'll start from the beginning, so keep that in mind. And if you need to fast forward for a half hour, it'll take you forever. So something to think about if you're going to use it for MP3s, I'd keep it for smaller files uh, or old-time radio. You know, pretty much listen to one show in one session. Uh, you got a pause play button there in the middle. Um, that's an interesting feature. If you press and hold it, it changes the mode from all songs to one song or repeating the same song or track over and over. Very handy. You notice we've got two FM bands, uh, FM1, 87 to 108, FM2, 64 to 108. So for different countries. Uh, we've got shortwave uh, coverage there. We have uh, band 1 through 9. As you can see in the window, 1 through 8 are printed. I kind of like uh, corresponding dial. Those are small numbers. Uh, it might be hard for some of the older folks to read that. <laughs> you might need a magnifying glass. Uh, just like the, the older model, it was pretty small. But it was a bit more legible. It had like the white and blue. I like that. This is me personally. And down below you can see AM it says 522 to 1620. Now another thing with the AM, which I found out just pretty much recently from a friend who was watching my band scan videos of the 328, is the AM band on these, both these radios is 9 kilohertz stepped, and you can't change that. What a bummer that is. Never knew that. I just pretty much listened to my locals, and they would come in because 670 pretty much comes in on 9 kilohertz, 720. 780 is pretty near, you know, 777. So, yeah, it's uh, it was kind of a bummer to wake up to that. But uh, we'll tune through the bands you get an idea. But it is 9 kilohertz stepped. If you're in a different country, 9 kilohertz, perfect for you. Uh, but in America, AM band, not fantastic. But you'd be buying this radio for other things, FM, Bluetooth, MP3. So those are the things that you'd focus on. And, of course, the 18650 rechargeable, which is definitely an upgrade. But if you're wondering which radio is the better radio, this one is. Because, of course, the FM stereo on headphones does sound pretty good. I like it. And Bluetooth and MP3 in stereo on the headphones. All right. So on the bottom here, we have switch. We have off, MP3 player, Bluetooth. Play by TF card. So it's going to play by TF card. And then we got radio, which I have tuned to Radio Tottenberg. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we also have band select switcher on the bottom. Two FM bands. You can see with the white selector where you're at. And of course, AM. And then of course, your nine divided up shortwave band. There you go. We'll leave an FM1. Okay, cool. Right hand side, volume control, tuning control. Top, we have all the, a lot going on. So we have the Type C input to charge the 18650 battery. Headphone jack, a headphone experience uh, on FM, MP3 player, and Bluetooth. Of course, FM stereo sounds great. Uh, it's got a very bright sound sounding uh, for my headphones, at least. Uh, low bass, not much on the bass, a lot of mids, and strong highs. So for all three of those, definitely expect that experience. I like it. It's bright music. Uh, it's, I tend to listen to that. If you like like R&B or heavy bass music, you're not going to want to use this headphones. Here we have a playback from a USB uh, drives or micro SD, which I've put in there. You don't get one with the radio. I put a 16 gigabyte uh, model in there. It's working good. It's a DSP radio. If you're wondering, um, it does tune in little steps. Uh, some people love it, some people don't. I like it for FM. It comes in great. On the back, got a little better kickstand centered versus the 328's offset uh, kickstand, which is off to the right. It's kind of funky because it has that BL5C battery. Uh, our antenna length is a whopping 21 inches. I forgot to mention the speaker is probably about two and a quarter inches, and it sounds good, just like the 328. And behind here, we have a battery compartment. And the cool thing is it comes with the same battery you get with a D808. It's 2,000 milliamp hour rated, 18650. It is an unprotected button top. Uh, it will not accept flat tops unless you try to modify that terminal end on the positive. Uh, it's just the way it's designed um, if you want to try using flat tops. Uh, and it won't, it won't, uh, protected cell won't fit in there either. So you got to use flat top button cells, which are, which are kind of hard to find. Um, so yeah, I try to modify my radios to accept flat tops because you can find those everywhere. There's your band coverage information, if you're wondering. All right, so let's go over FM reception. I'll turn this on. We'll do a radio demo. So FM reception report. I take this upstairs. I spend time. I go through every part of the band looking for every station I can. And I log it all to give you an idea how well it fares against other radios, such as the old school, the old GE analogs, <laughs> and the like, you know, realistic. Um, so this is a DSP radio. They tend to do better on FM. 
uh, digital signal processor, if you're wondering what that means. Um, so FM, this rated 61 stations on sensitivity, and I give it a solid good rating. So it's fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. So solid uh, three star on that. And uh, selectivity, I give it an okay to good. So I give it a two star or two and a half star. So it, it's uh, not bad. Um, it's just at a hard time getting weaker stations uh, with this radio, even though I had a nice long antenna. So, but there you are. There's the FM reception report. Uh, it's good on FM. You'll be happy. And with the stereo, most of the stations would come in with the stereo. Did, did enjoy that. Definitely nice. All right. So let's go ahead and turn it on and jam out. So radio. Now, before I get started, I probably should mention I have the MP3 player here. So we're going to MP3. I want to show you something. Play by PS card. So... If you're playing music off your uh, MP3 or your Bluetooth and stereo, you're going to have a problem with this radio. Um, it cuts the right channel off when it's stereo. So let's go to the first track. Let's see if it'll let me keep... Oops, I hit mode. We don't want Bluetooth. <laughs> Okay, listen to this first track here. Okay, so you're supposed to laugh right there. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's tune this to FM. Um, go to the radio. And let's go find that same track. So as you heard, uh, if you're playing off the SD card or USB drive or you're playing it through your Bluetooth and you're playing stereo music, it will cut the right channel. Um, that is an issue. Um, unfortunately, if you like to listen to music and you want to use this as a Bluetooth speaker, forget it. You're going to be upset because um, it's going to cut your stereo and you're going to notice it. <laughs> um, and also with the SD card. But this also makes a great podcast radio. Uh, great old time radio because it's all mono programming. So all mono programming would be um, something I'd recommend if you're going to use this radio with the MP3 or Bluetooth um, through the speaker. Now, if you had the headphones on, of course, it would be stereo. Um, that's great for the MP3 player built into this. But if you're using Bluetooth, why would you bother then? So Bluetooth function, podcasts, uh, mono programming would be your best bet. So let's go ahead and turn this up. Um, I'm going to... Do some radio Tadabird here for a couple minutes. Awesome. Get an idea about the speaker. FM transmitter 2 by C Crane. Transmitting at 97.7 megahertz. Tuned to this radio, which is 97.7. It's a really accurate dial. This the indicator there.
jamming out there. That was the MP3 player I showed you. It's playing the royalty-free music, so I can do the little music demo for you. So that's awesome. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off so it doesn't interfere with our band skins. Um, so as I said, I kind of put this up there. This is a bit more distorted, even though it has more bass to it. I like the audio coming out of the 368. I think it's an upgrade to the 328 in audio. Um, definitely. All right. Also, you know what I probably should show you is the FM stereo light does go on when you have FM stereo signal. So we do with this. So go ahead and turn this back on. Could I hit my button here? There we go. And if I plug in a pair of headphones, you can see the little green light go on. So let's go do that. So headphone jack. There you are. If you listen to headphones, it says stereo. We're getting a stereo signal. Perfect. Rock on. So yeah. Great. Now you got to see that. Awesome. Of course, that's the tuning indicators on that red LED. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. All right. So first things first, let's uh, do an FM band scan. Yeah, why not? Huh? Let's go through it. And then, yeah, we'll go through uh, the short wave so we can hear. Probably just some Cuban stations tonight, I'm guessing. Uh, the antenna rotates around. Comes up a little bit. Just trying to get this so I can don't hit much. I think I'm going to be hitting other radios here. Yes, I am. <laughs> Gonna have to hold it. Hope you guys don't mind. Uh, for the short wave, it'll be easier. Um, this extends up pretty far, 21 inches. So, all right. Let's go ahead and fire up the FM. We're at the bottom of the band. Radio mode, FM1. Because FM2, I'm not going to hear anything on the lower part. So we're just on whip only, no wire attached. Again, I don't think there's just one way to find an anagogical meaning in the text. Um, yeah, but so all these are tending to the great ocean of infinite purity and bliss. The progress of time. The Pacific market shares are lower down 1% in Hong Kong. I'm Shay Stevens. This is NPR News. Support for NPR. We're more righteous than we really are. And we can't do that. feel like you're at the end of your rope and you just need a little hope. A song like this can make you feel through, but it's a lie when you come. I'm not excited, but should I? So I'm going to sub floor basement. It's kind of hard sometimes to pick up stations, but upstairs there are a lot booming in. 60 stations a lot. A little quicker here. Many times I tried to tell. I never mentioned what's real. Here's some faint signals there. Sound speaker, I like it. He should, and I'll tell you why. At 7:40. Okay, not sure what that's about, but you can win. Yeah. Interesting how all the religious stations come in. <laughs>
and click the word follow for easy access or when you are home just ask your smart speaker to play three hours now. on power 106 power yes ich role w dużej mierze przejęły SMS-y i media społecznościowe. Klasyk. <laughs> okay, it's pretty much a pretty basic uh, FM scan. Didn't expect to do much downstairs, but we did it. Let's uh, go ahead and see what's on shortwave. So I'm going to bring my antenna down. Uh, we're going to clip a little wire to it. I got a uh, 12... Uh, 12 to 15 foot wire here. I've really measured it out. It's in my window blinds on the inside just to get a little extra reception. This works good on FM too, by the way. If you got a little wire. Let's attach that real quick. Come on, buddy. Okay. This is FM. Yeah, looking pretty decent. Picking up a ton more. With internal water dispenser. One, two, home big trick, man. Yep, didn't get this either. In tune. Like you're not really happy, but you Music, more variety. Yeah. Thanks for telling random strangers about Rock 95.5. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, but we are glad you didn't get in the van. Rock 95.5. But as you can see, the little wire here is doing fantastic on FM. So let's go ahead and, yeah, I had to do that because I went through that. Let's go to MP3 player real quick before we do anything. Um, just to show you the display. The missing right channel. Oh, this you crazy mother. So what I'd recommend is using it for old time radio. The Couple Next Door, written by Peg Lynch and starring Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce. Oh. I've this tie 50 times. Well, here, let me help. I think my nail polish is dry by now. Here, I'm help silly, you. anyhow. Here, try getting yeah. all dressed up, driving way out to this fancy French restaurant. Uh, keep your chin up. We're doing it for Aunt Effie now. She's treating us, and she wants us to do it in... So there you go. It sounds good with, uh, like I said, old-time radio where it's a mono program anyway. It's not stereo. Get it, will you? To begin with, she, she wouldn't... Pause it, which is nice. And you saw me changing it from one to all. Okay, that's it for MP3. Just want to cover it. It's pretty basic. It's showing it's playing from the SD card. If you had USB, it would say USB. And, of course, pause, play. It's showing the functions. Spend her money like this. And you saw the fast forward. You can rewind. It's fairly small. There you go. You got the idea. All right, let's go back to the radio. Let's see if we can pick it up. We're going to go to uh, right to shortwave. Since AM band isn't going to be spectacular. Far more people and far less weapons than far organization. So shortwave or one uh, is 4.7 to 506. Okay. Public, I, it's my opinion. Current time 10 or 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Uh, it's evening uh, near Chicago, Illinois. Pick up a faint music station. Right at the beginning there, 4.75. You can hear the little clicks as we go. We'll do a couple of these. We'll do a quick AM band scan and then we'll do final thoughts.
weather disasters with geoengineering been going on with the military for many years, election fraud, uh, mm -hmm. propaganda with the mainstream media, cyber attack, uh, food shortage. I'd say conspiracy theory, but he's saying a lot of facts there. <laughs> interesting. Okay. Shortwave is always interesting. When sometimes the schedules are changing and you don't know what's going to happen. Digital signal? That's interesting. Right by the uh, 5 megahertz. Colorado? I'd say it's about 800 miles away. Uh, Cuba? 5025? This could be it. Hard to tell a tiny dial. Okay, let's go up one more shortwave band. A faint Cuban station. Bond 6 megahertz, that's pretty accurate. Today. Holy cow. Okay, let's call it there. I mean, there's probably more up here, but uh, yeah, I'm running out of time. <laughs> Keep that down. Let's go to our AM band. Get our selector up there. And there we are. Again, it's 9 kilohertz stepped. Direction. Probably 540. I want to get to the issue of what we're learning at the Chicago Mar-a-Lago raid, and so we got. Okay, so what? You don't need any. The president's attorney, Alina Haba. I think this is 620. That this guy Tim Tebow, like the quarterback, except not the quarterback, of course. Virginia to NASA, where I got very drunk. In the morning, I woke up under a table in the bar. Enjoyed the Tuesday night opera, a lot of history too. Captain here, then with a big coming, the newest member of the Opry and a fine set. 650 to be SM Nashville. To round down things there at the Grand Ole Opry House. Would you be cameras on him because Correct. someone will recognize him in Correct. Correct. That's what I was saying about Kevin Durant. He's reached that strategy. 670 yeah, score? Aaron Judge has not yet. Aaron Judge hasn't been around long enough. He's not against David Weathers, a grand slam. And well. Didn't come into tune as you could tell it should. Not, uh, not faced with going to jail for the most part, though federally, of course, it uh, remains illegal for uh, 720 WGN. In, uh, in any event, uh, as I looked at that, 
the future and minimize stumbles along the way. Janice Honeyman, portfolio manager at Research Capital. Often the biggest concern of baby boomers is running out of money. A financial plan provides focus. It's tuning off slight, so. WBBM. 1018, traffic weather. 780 WBBM, Chicago. Abby Ryan. Good evening, Judge. A slight delay before you. Should definitely come in tune, but it's not. Past US 30 to so we're done. Okay. Cape Farm Road. Uh, so if you have stations that fall near or on the 9 kilohertz frequency, uh, you'll be able to no problem bringing stations in. Like I said, my 720 is 720 on 9 kilohertz. So it comes in perfect. Happy for that. So it's not a, a total loss on the AM band, but that gives you an idea. So my purchase of the radio 368 is a worthy, uh, it's worthy when it's 20 bucks. Uh, it's an 18650 battery. Um, it's very similar to this. This radio here is selling for 1750 right now. Um, and it runs on a BL5C, which a lot of people aren't a fan of, uh, but this running on a cylindrical cell is nice. Um, it does have a good sounding speaker, loving that. Um, the shortwave was really kicking tonight, loved it. And of course, MP3 uh, is not bad, especially when you're wearing headphones. The stereo sounds good, uh, happy with the FM stereo on this radio. So yeah, uh, it does get a recommended buy, even with those little bit of problems it has, like cutting the right channel when you're playing Bluetooth music or MP3 music. Uh, something to keep aware of if you're using it as a speaker mode. So there it is. Give a big like if you like the video. Two if you like XH data. Subscribe at the bell icon. And of course, comment below what you think about the 368. Is it for you? After all the things I showed you, uh, let me know. A lot of cool features. Type C interface. Loving it. All right, guys, take care. And we'll see you in my next video.